Hey what's up guys welcome to find gap youtube channel and in today's video i will teach you how you can add audio file in your html website in this video we will display this type of audio website and user can play that audio and mute that audio from this control and also he can control his playback speed so video is going to be more important and before start i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos let's start so friends First of all, here you can see that I have basic HTML structure and on the left side, I have an audio file named myaudio.mp3. So what I will do, first of all, I will create an audio opening and closing tag here. And inside this tag, we have to type one more tag which name source. After this, just close this tag. This tag source have, does not have any closing tag. Inside this source tag, type an attribute source is equal to double quotation and inside this we will type our audio file name because my audio file name is on the same folder that's why i will just directly type the name of my file here so i will type my audio.mp3 and one more thing in the opening tag of our audio tag just type here controls and nothing else i will show you that what is the purpose of this word friends in the output you can see that this is our audio which is displaying on our website when i will click on this you can see that our audio will be played so what was the purpose of this control word basically if you will remove this word browser will not display you any controls to play that, that audio and even you can see that the user interface of, of our audio is lost so that's why this controls attribute is required next in the source tag, you also have to type the type of your audio. Suppose in my case, my audio is of type mp3. So I will type here type forward slash and mp3. The next thing I want to tell you, suppose you have an audio file which has other type of format like other than mp3 and the user which is using your website, his browser did, did not support that audio format. So suppose if I copy here and paste this here like this, and suppose you have format like OWG, maybe this is not a format, but suppose it is a format and the, the browser of your user did not support this format. Uh, this format. So what our these two source tag will do, the browser will automatically select the second one. If second one will be not supported by the user browser, if you have a third one source tag, then browser will try to play this third audio file. And suppose if browser did not find this file to playables or browser did not support those formats, maybe you have a text here like my audio file. But this text will only be displayed if browser will not support any of the formats given by you. And next one more thing you can type here autoplay. The purpose of this autoplay attribute is when user will refresh your page, your website, your audio will be automatically played. But in now more browsers, uh, this feature is not supported. So because it become annoying when you load a website and users just starting listening the sound. So friends, I hope you must enjoy this video. And if you have any question, you can ask us in the comment section. We will try to answer your question. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. And finally, thanks for watching.